so in the last session we were discussing about buttons this whenever I click on this button actions how to write actions it means in the JavaScript functions okay how to write a JavaScript function okay and then and then we were having input uh, fields like you know input usernames and passwords like this any any inputs are there inputs means anything that you enter that uh, how to uh, get the values uh, in JavaScript okay so these two things we have learned and then previously uh, how to write a R component yeah how to write a R component and then attributes right and then how to call an apex and then send the data as params right so in the apex what we have done is we have done a dml operation right so <clears throat> overall we have a picture now in the ara component if you build any screen like this in this whatever you entered something okay enter uh, number one okay we uh, just we did something like a calculator number two also like this if you enter something in the javascript how can you how can you fetch it into the javascript we know component dot get you need to do component dot set to get the values and set the values in the javascript right so similarly now we know how to call apex also let's say there is an apex here apex programming so you know how to call this from ara component to apex and then from apex to how to send the how to do a dml operation into the object we know like this okay so this is a object credentials object we created okay here we are doing a in you know, apex dml operation we are doing right dml operation we are doing when i click on a submit right it is a not a number so it we sent like usernames password password we have email we sent a phone number also these four parameters we sent whenever i click on submit so this is basically typical uh, use cases in any application right so any application you take it can be banking any application so why we go for lightning components is to customize your ui do a custom logic okay so in this case uh, this is a ui and this is a business logic that dml operation is doing this is an object that stores the data similarly you wanted to fetch now back when somebody clicks on or whenever page loads or whenever, whenever somebody clicks on display you need to fetch this data which is stored in the object for example it is already there in the object and you wanted to fetch and validate or let's say somebody is signing in okay and they they enter their username and then password and then submit whenever you submit you need to check this username and then password is already present in the object or not first time I'm registering with my name like this and then password something anything else okay and somebody clicks again whenever they sign in same username password they are giving we need to verify with the same username password is there a object uh, is there a record available in the object or not we need to verify if record is present we need to say successfully logged in if record is not present we need to show uh, validations no error like you know don't have any uh, you don't have any record for this and then please create uh, if it is in uh, you know if you wanted to create a new record like that we need to show an error messages and uh, we need to show um, you know uh, proper uh, you know um, message to the user right for that purpose again what we can do we can go to apex we can send the data and then we can fetch this time earlier we were we were creating the data right in the dml operation we are using to create the data this time we will fetch it 
will fetch means we'll get the data from the database and verify whether this username password is matching yes it is matching then we can show a success message that logged in success otherwise error okay so let us do this scenario today earlier we were signing in let's sign in today okay earlier we were saying say i mean we can show success message also it is sign in success right so now what we can do go to developer console so go here so lightning cars app so first time if i sign up when i submit it has to show me sign in success please log in okay so automatically this screen should come and then they have to give their username password and submit right so let us go to our component so which is uh, cars app lightning login so the cars app login so here we have a button sign in and sign up buttons we have uh, layouts also here layout layout items are there and then inputs are there and these two are there in the if condition now <clears throat> first time we we click on sign up uh, what is happening this submit what it will do it will go and then it will what it will do it will create a record right in the apex controller from apex controller it is creating now today it's a little bit different so we need to have another method in the java uh, like apex when somebody is click on sign in okay i need to show this as well so now <clears throat> this submit method is there right so this submit is available for sign in and sign up same submit button is available so we need to identify are you in a sign in are you in a sign up if submit then suppose you are in a sign in then this has to go to call and apex this has to go to apex and call and then it has to fetch the data right so otherwise what we can do do sign in different method we can put here let me do this like this So we can have another button like this. Okay, like this. For sign in, I am having another button for uh, for uh, for you know first time they are registering. So I am giving a button. Uh, I can say register also here okay so now for this button i need to have a javascript function first declare a function here declare a function now i'm going to click on sign in by default this one is coming when I click on uh, my username I mean when I enter my username and password sign me in it has to go to apex and fetch the data with whatever the username password I'm uh, providing right so what we need to do now I need to send this data to apex and then I need to verify these details are present in the object or not uh, first of all can you tell me to send this data what should I do? I wanted to send this data to Apex. What should I do? So whenever I sign up, I'm sending this data. So how am I sending this? Can anybody tell me? Any idea? Last time we did, how, how are we sending the data to Apex? Whenever I click on sign up, Okay, now see, uh, if you're confused, I'm just uh, saying again, what is our scenario right now today is, we already doing sign up here whenever we click on sign up, first time sign in button is come generally, is coming like this. Uh, let me check here, default value as false, default value as 
let me put this as one second is equals to false okay so what i can do generally <clears throat> this is a if condition if if condition is fails what we can do we can show like this also <clears throat> means <clears throat> if somebody clicks on sign up i will show this register button okay by default if somebody clicks on sign up i will show this i don't want to show this uh, you know that means what i can do here are a set attribute is equals to false I can make what it will do if this condition is true this will execute if this is false then this will execute else condition this is something like else you no know? if else conditions so what I can do here I'll do like this what will happen so if this condition okay one second our attribute our add set attribute is equals to else so what it will do inside if condition if suppose this condition is false sorry if condition is true this will execute if it is a false it will execute whatever is there in the set okay so why I'm doing like this is by default I wanted to show these fields and buttons only when this is true sign up is true if it is not a sign up that means it's a sign in that means it's a else if it is not sign up that means it's a sign in then i wanted to show this button now you will see whenever i click but by, de by default sign in will come you see sign in is coming when i click on sign up only register will come so what i'm doing here is i'm managing what fields i wanted to show what buttons I wanted to show I'm just managing here okay so refresh this so now scenario what I'm trying now is earlier we were signing up now I wanted to sign in so it's something went wrong let us see if I click on sign in if I click on sign in I need to show When I click on sign in, I wanted to show this as well. Or, or, or I wanted to make this as a false. Sign up false means that means it will show a sign in. Now you see. Sign up, it is coming and then sign in, it will come. Like you know, you see this, what to render what not to render how i'm how i'm managing here is with the help of rif this is rif basically rif by default it is a false that means it won't show when i click on sign in sign in uh, like you know this will be uh, sign up this will be true and then when i click on sign in and then this will be false like you know you see method when i click on sign in i'm making this as false now I mean like from UI perspective this is good now from UI perspective it is automatically coming like you know it's working perfectly fine when I click on sign in sign in but screen is coming when I click on uh, sorry sign in and then this screen is coming and then sign up the other screen is coming right it is working proper right now but what I wanted to do sign up is also working fine when I when I uh, give here something okay so we had seen last time when I click on register it is going to create a backend uh, credentials object record you go to credentials
so as of now three records are there when I click on register so it is not showing that it is success but basically it is created in here so you see super record is created over here total four records that means it's working fine sign up now what are we going to do once it is, it is successful we need to show the screen like this you registered successfully please sign in <clears throat> please sign in like this then when somebody clicks sign in it has to show success message and it has to go to the another page that's what we are going to do today calling an apex again but calling an apex i'm asking you all the question how to send this information to apex so let's say this is the registered uh, name that uh, this is my username just now registered with this username so this username and then password is something like this when i sign in i wanted to send this information to apex in the apex i wanted to validate but before sending i'm asking you all the question how to send this information from ui to apex we had discussed this in the last session can anybody answer please So I have information here, the username and then password. I am entering some my username here, something. Okay, this is my username. I registered earlier. I sign up. Now I wanted to, I wanted to enter this information to Apex. How can I send this information to Apex? First of all, how to call Apex? Can you? Can anybody tell me how to call an Apex? So we have done this right earlier this is the way we need to call we need to have a component dot get and then c dot method name so this is a syntax last time we discussed this is a syntax to call an apex <coughs> so here uh, what we need to do this action is a variable we say that we can have anything here not only action it can be x y z also okay like this also wherever you are using like you can use like this and then here component that get we need to use and this is a method name of the class and these are the set params how many parameters you wanted to send you see last time we are sending username password mail mobile number and then we need to have a set callback <coughs> So same piece of code we need to use basically okay same piece of code we need to use now here basically to call an apex we need to first have a method like this we should have a method the same method we are we have to use here you see create login data create login data in the apex method should be there in the javascript you need to have an instantiation like this <clears throat> so today first let us create a method like this ara enabled public static void do sign in or verify credentials so this can be anything method name can be anything okay it no need if you, it it no need to be verify credentials it can be do sign in it can be uh, check the details it can be anything name can be anything of the you know this method xyz also we can mention abc also can be mentioned anything we can mention anything here okay it doesn't matter now we need to in the javascript wherever you wanted to call you need to have a method like this <coughs> where action component dot get like this where action component dot get 
c dot method name so what is the method name here our method name is this one verify credentials same method name we need to use here okay this is a first step this is something called as instantiating the apex method or calling an apex method <coughs> inside uh, for this if you wanted to send a data you need to have action dot set params okay you need to send the data as a parameters what data you wanted to send you wanted to send the data that is entered by the user that means username password you wanted to send that means you should have a two parameters username and some username something what would you have and then password is equals to the data right <coughs> And we should have uh, parameters also. Sorry, yeah, set callback. So you need to mention like this: this comma function. This is a syntax. So I mean, we cannot do anything with this. We need to have a same syntax like this. So you see here, set callback. In the set callback, C is a caps, and then set params. P is a caps you need to mention the same way because it's a syntax if you mention yes as a caps and P as a small it won't work it won't make any call out to the apex and then expected result will not see so here I can have NQ action so this was the syntax if suppose you don't have any parameters you can remove it if you have a parameters to send data from the are a component or a JavaScript to Apex class, you should have a parameters like this. Set params is a function that sets the parameters, right? <clears throat> so tell me now, should I declare this username's password as a parameters here or, or not in the Apex class? Do I need to declare the any parameters or is this good now? While comparing with the existing method, you, you should have you know uh, practiced already uh, if you have practiced or if you are understood you should tell me now I wanted to send a data to Apex do I need to send as a parameters or not or if I need to send as a parameters how, how can I send first of all how to declare a parameters can I declare like this Yes, to send a data from JavaScript to Apex, we should have a string like this string and then here password is also string. So why is this string required? Can I put as a date? You are entering in the UI as a string. This is not a numbers. This is not a date. That's why I need to declare a parameter as a string okay so here <clears throat> and this can be anything it's it's no need to be un it can be username also it can be like this also you can send and here also password also like this also I can send okay so this name can be anything this can be X and this can be Y also okay this can be username to indicate you and this can be P also no worries but the type matters okay so <clears throat> whatever the names you declared here as a parameter name or a variable name the same names you need to pass here as you know set whenever you are setting a parameter you need to pass as like you know username is equals to some username and then password is equals to this password but you see username I'm sending this after this call and whatever is there that is going to send to the apex if I enter like this it's always like this only the same information it will go it doesn't send any dynamic data to send a dynamic data what should I do <coughs> I wanted to send dynamic data whatever I enter here whatever I'm entering here if today first time I'm entering like this for example and next time I'm entering like this and again I'm going to end like this so whatever the data I'm entering here 
same let same data I wanted to send to Apex. Uh, first of all, I wanted to get this in JavaScript. Can you anybody tell me how can I get this information in the JavaScript? While sign up also, I'm entering this information I'm getting in the JavaScript, right? Similarly, I want to get this information in the JavaScript. Can anybody answer me how to get the data from component file to JavaScript file? Yes, awesome. So we need to have an attribute. Already attributes are present here. Same attributes we have used earlier, right? So same attributes already present here. Username, password. We are using same for the sign up and sign in, both same variables. Okay, now how can I get here in the JavaScript? We need to get like this component dot get. This component dot get. V dot username whatever you declared here and then password also similar way but <clears throat> we are getting it here in the JavaScript if you wanted to store you can store it here where username and then where password so the data that you are getting from the username in the front end component you will get it in the javascript and stored it in the username un and now same information you can pass here instead of entering manually you can pass here and then password also you can pass here okay now <coughs> for whenever i sign in first of all sign up button will be closed and then and then username password i will be getting from the component who is entering the value and then i'm going to call an apex apex using this uh, syntax while calling i'm setting a parameters while setting the parameters username is equals to the this event this event what it indicates the username from the component file that somebody's entered here and then i'm setting the password also okay here and then now verify credentials is a method in the apex class that is going to send the data to here to this one now first part we have completed one part is completed that first time somebody is coming to this page they will enter their username password here like this anything when they click on sign up we are calling an apex and then we are sending the data to apex second one <clears throat> we need to now we are getting the data as a parameters to this method in the apex we need to verify these credentials already present with us or not somebody is registered or somebody giving the username password do we have username password with us same the same username password is already registered in the system Yes, if somebody is passing that information, yes, we got your username password, the same username password you are entering. So you will say written back that, you know, username is correct or uh, our login is success. So go to the next page, something like that you need to say. To do that, first of all, how can you verify if it is present in the object or not? Already with us is present or not, how can you verify? Means anytime you want to verify means you need to fetch the data how can you fetch means two ways you can fetch directly you can query like this <coughs> credentials object you can use like this where matching name is equals to this username that I'm getting from the JavaScript and password I am fetching it from the JavaScript again or a component so 
excuse me so this is a query that fetch the data based on the username based on the password so if username password matches then you will get the information or another way what you can do is you fetch all the credentials from the system all the credentials for example thousand credentials information is there fetch all credentials like this and then you need to use next time the next thing is looping condition to loop it and then verify <coughs> so this is something like you know for loop what it will do it will loop through the data like this <coughs> and then we need to verify if c dot username or name is equals to or double equals to this username and password is equals to this password so if it is matches then you can say boolean variable um, you know credentials found is a variable i'll say if it is matches i'll say true and then break the looping so I can use like this <coughs> this is other way what we are doing here is we are first first getting the credentials for example 100 people already registered get all 100 records username and passwords and then loop this this what is this for means it's a for loop uh, for loop means one by one record it will processes this credentials let's say 100 records are there 100 records it is going to process one by one by one one by record one one each record so it will come each record and it will check if the username the same username what i am entering is matching with the existing username then it will show uh, like you know credentials found is equals to two and break like this we can find out means like you know first we are repeating through the data and then we are checking it so this is one way but you know to to write a simple way we can utilize like this earlier like you know whatever we are writing otherwise let me comment this out this is comment uh, this is a multi-line comment we can use here this is something called as multi-line comment uh, multi lines you wanted to make sure that it doesn't work it, it you don't need all these lines of piece of code then you can comments like this from starting you mention like this slash and then star and uh, where you wanted to end then star and then star and slash so this will uh, you know makes the, all the lines doesn't work these are commented out okay now you can utilize this like this also by using where condition where username the same way that we are writing here so here in the queries to refer any variable you need to use like this <coughs> so this is also way to verify what it will do if it is matches the same username is matches then it will give the records it will store the record here for example with the same username two records are there let's say two two credentials are there somehow registered then then you will find out two records over here or generally you can check the condition if this credentials list is there dot size is greater than zero then you can say uh, like this boolean credentials found
or you can return return also you can do a return statement or let us form like this only I can mention string also like this also and then I can store if it is found result equals to credentials found like this also I can write else not found like this also I can write now what I'm doing I am getting the information from the ARA component if somebody clicks on sign in based on this username password I am querying once I query I am checking the condition how many results are there with the same username password if let's say one is finding out with at least one same username password is present then it will gives me one record so if I if I say this list dot size this is a size is a function by default it will gives me how many records are present in this query if you found more than one or more than zero or let's say one record one record will come so one is greater than zero yes it is greater than so it will say is that one is greater than zero so result is going to be credentials found else result is going to be not found means this is a if else condition what will happen uh, like you know if else you uh, are already aware that you know if age is greater than 30 then you wanted to store something like this uh, out eligibility or result is equal to for example out eligible eligible for out else not found yeah chip if else la kuda use cheyachu manam js la kuda use cheyachu apex la kuda use cheyachu if if else same if else akkada kuda vaadachu Yeah, so you can do So you can first variable of data store So you result So you result in JavaScript verify yes and put result Credentials found gane aite success message to be like with error message to be and just on it Okay, so Now We just will just understand what uh, you know, I will repeat again what I'm doing Okay, so I am entering the details username password when I click on sign in then the data is going to from you know from from uh, ARA component JavaScript to Apex it will get as an parameters username password parameters with this I'm querying this is something called as a query to fetch the data if I write the uh, you know another query like this you may understood for example I wanted to fetch list of patient records Here name can be anything no worries on this name select ID name phone all the fields if you mention here name phone from patient then what it will do it will fetch me all the records in the patient 10 records 20 records 30 records no 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 I wanted to fetch the patient details only with the name Ganesh then you can put a filters we discussed in the first session right you can put a filters where name is equals to Ganesh what it will do it will fetch the details of the Ganesh patient right similarly now what I'm doing I'm querying for the credentials object 
where username is equals to this username and then password is equals to this password what is this what is this outside here why are we not giving here the name i can give like, like this right ganesh at the rate of gmail.com and then password is equals to something some other name like this so if you give like this always it is something ganesh only it won't come you know dynamically the data is not going to come in the apex class dynamically it will fetch always it will try to fetch you are entering subbu in the front end but it's still in the in the apex class what it will do it will try to see the ganesh details only because it's a hard coded it's not a dynamic one to fetch the dynamic one we have to use like this parameter whatever the parameter name is there with that name and then if you say this is actually data is going to store in this cred this variable name so if the size of this one is size means how many records are present if the presented records are greater than zero that means one record found or if you say this one will returns how many Ganesh records are there if I put at that size it will give me if suppose two Ganesh records are there it will give me two if 20 are there 20 like this credentials also what it will store how many number of credentials are present with the same username passport that many number of will get here now apex part is completed okay this this was earlier thing let me remove this i don't want this now simple code like you know i'm querying first of all and then based on my username password i'm fetching the size if it is size is greater than zero and then results i'm saying that you know credentials found are not found now generally whenever you make a call to apex like this in the callback function you will get the results okay yeah E conditions in records on the username password you miss no no for example like a support door a kiss no no it do our gives an ento same password to 10 on 9 to 10 this corner so they are 100 to 150 20,000 and also 20,000 record same username password on 9 ago 20,000 records or say yeah maximum 50,000 records is a limitation which is a uh, gone limitation a condition of less than 100 ikra you could less than 100 uh? no it won't fetch it the fetching is here line number 14 it will fetch if suppose same username password the one lakh records and i them actually any records window for example anuko same username the password the name one lakh times register yes kuna no you put a query and just the same username password to one lakh records in a fetch as good and try just as first to line number 14 but it will show an error message after fetching the 50,000 records generally one SQL query or all SQL queries in a transaction fetch only 50,000 records if it is fetching more than that then it will throws an error message so to to yeah yeah uh, so that is a governor limitation and then so here you need to check it how many number of records are there i want at least one record if it is greater than zero that means at least one record found that means credentials are matching okay at least one record is there with the same username password then i wanted to show the result as credentials found okay so apex part is found uh, completed but what i what i'm doing in the apex is i'm fetching the data that's it based on the data i am storing whether it is found or not now go to apex sorry javascript in the javascript in this inside of this set function set callback function i'll get the results response dot get written values is a function value actually is a function that fetch the results from the apex but to fetch this you need to have a, a written statement here a method with a written statement 
like this. This method will have a wild statement. That means it won't return anything. It, it won't return anything. Wild means nothing will return. Okay, you cannot write return. It will just calculate and stores the data. So it won't transfer the data to the JavaScript. To send this information, yes, it is found or it is not found the information you wanted to send, then you need to have a method with the written type the matching data like this. So what are you returning here? The result. What is the result? Whether it can be credentials found or not found based on this list. First of all, what is the data type? It's a string. It's storing the string. Whether it is found or not, it's a storing in the string. So if you wanted to return a number, you need to write an integer here. If you wanted to return a date, date you need to write. So I wanted to return a string that, you know, result. The result can be found or not found, right? You know, based on that, I'm basically having here result is an string that stores the information the same information I'm going to return now once I written the information is going to come here in the JavaScript inside the set callback like this you can assign this to in a front end or you can verify or store this something like this result what is this res can i put here xyz dot get written values no whatever the function you declared here if you declared as abc then use here abc if you declare as res declare as res here that means it's a result it stores a result over here so you can mention as a result also you can mention as output also anything here okay so I am making like this today output output dot get written values or uh, result dot uh, we can say response from the Apex class. So response that dot get written value what it is coming. I am storing it in the variable result. I can check here now if my result is equals to credentials found if it is credentials found okay I wanted to show uh, alert message for example just show an alert message whether it is found or not Okay. Now my ARA component is ready, but it is still confusing for you all, right? Let me refresh and try again. So my code is ready now. My code is ready. My output I wanted to see it now. So I have already registered with this uh, username and then with this password. I have already registered. Now when I click on sign in, what should happen? Can anybody tell me the flow? Everyone flow chapandi in your Now first of all sign in click chasin up to enjoy the now first JavaScript call out the JavaScript law. Data this cono Sadaman print and layer with enter chasna my data JavaScript Keltadi JavaScript low Apex and call Yasadi Apex low query chasadi query chasna query chasin Tarata with data verify chasconi result is Sadaman backo a result name check chasnano success a kadani yes it is matching and a put a success of Sadi like potale for example in wrong username is the wrong username which are wrong password which are put sign in go to failed okay I did not register this in the system it's not there in the system now it says failed okay so how it is possible so basically you need to understood 
step by step first we are fetching something we are calling something and then how we are catch, fetching the data you, you know programmatically if you execute in your mind then only you will understand this code not only this language you go to if you feel like easy java you go to java it is more difficult now in salesforce at least it is easy right you go to dot net you go to any programming language the code is more but here it's very little and then it's very simple programmatic understanding i mean like you know you see just a query you need to understand if you understand the query and then if else conditions are very easy like you know if this credentials dot size is greater than zero if it is zero then you need to you know store the result as this one else the result is credentials not found same results i am returning back to the string i mean like you know uh, can you tell me if in the first class in the first class have you are, are we discussed this concept or not a method with a parameter without parameter have you discussed or not i'll open both batch number 23 and 24 then i will you know ask the questions let me open this let me open the class that i have just i mean we created So let me open our class. My first class, uh, not this one. See, what is this? Uh, of course, we did not discuss about return type, but we discussed about query okay this is a query that fetch the data so this is another query that fetch the data based on the name okay this is a string we discussed about the string that stores the data so if you don't understand means you did not go through this one you did not understood the first step itself but you did not ask me the question in the next class you why didn't you ask me that you you have not understood this what is this email what is this string address now same class same concept I'm using here. What I'm using here is string. In the first class itself, we have discussed here the string. What is a string? Is address that stores, uh, you know, something you wanted to store as an address. Address is something like, you know, text you wanted to enter. I have declared as a string. This is a data, account data I have declared as a list. So this is also account data, but a single account. So if you not practice, I don't mind i mean like you know it's up to your responsibility if you have practice then you will understand what today's class okay so i have declared a string here to store the result and then this is an extra statement today you need to you know understand okay, otherwise you, you need to ask me what is this written statement why are we writing okay so what i'm doing today i'm querying this is this is not new this is a, in this concept uh, this querying concept how to query we have discussed in the first class itself first class in the apex programming you need to write a query to fetch the data so here also i'm doing like this i'm fetching the data by querying i'm querying the data here by using my username password okay and then based on a credentials you will get the result over here so if you see results um, results okay okay so generally you will fetch the results over here means how many credentials are there that many credentials you will get it here and then i'm saying that clearly this is a function size is a function and then it will returns me data right i'm saying this is a function this size is a function that returns the data of records how many number of records are there that many number of size if suppose two records are found two is giving here two two it will give the results as two ten results are ten results are found ten it will give me hundred hundred so now 
this entire function gives me number I am comparing this results is greater than 0 what does it mean if suppose 100 results are found that means 100 is greater than 0 yes that means the number of records found is greater than 0 that means there is a data there is a data with username password if it is yes then I wanted to return the result as credentials found what is this result tell me now what is this result No, we are storing here result is a one string based on the result I am storing another value if result is greater than zero that means results found already in the object if there is a found yes if it is found then I am storing result as credentials found that means I found the credentials because result is already present else no records found if it is zero my username with my username password I'm entering HHH -h -h. with this username with this password there is no records that means it's a zero the results will give me zero zero is greater than zero no it will comes in a else condition so if to understand this first you need to understand the if condition that's why I have written here if condition what this if condition will do okay what this if condition will do if age age and age and the vocal variable anukunam age and front end 20 enter chest no, 20 or so 20 is greater than 18 correct correct capital local cost of the no front end 10 enter yes no. is 10 greater than 18 no but else like also the if one is the lower quarter than day if if this condition satisfied then it will come inside the brackets if this condition not satisfied then it will go to the else condition else statement right so to if you that's why to make you understand I'm writing this if condition here okay similarly in the programming also I'm doing same thing if my credential size is greater than zero what is this credentials first of all the results that are matching with my username and password if it is greater than zero that means at least one record found then result says that credentials found otherwise not the same data I'm returning back to the JavaScript this return means the same data what data it will return now tell me either it will return a credentials found or credentials not found if found then it will returns else it will return this that means the result is going back what is this result this is a string okay it will go here and I'm checking here if result is this one then say alert yes otherwise no failed so what is, what are you not understanding tell me now so manas petale manas petak pote radu okay ipudu 50% artham ayindi inko 50% artham kavalante malli cheyali malli cheyali appude neeku syntax artham ayipothadi syntax if you know the syntax if you know the concept uh, i'll promise that the same piece of code will repeats again and again okay so Today we called the Apex and we perform the query and this query results I am returning based on the query result I am returning either as credentials found or not I mean I can return true false values also instead of this boolean boolean result if credentials greater than zero then I will say true or false I can return okay so now the written type also should be boolean because I'm returning result what is the result result is a boolean so written type should be boolean now what I will get in the JavaScript what data I will get in the JavaScript earlier what was what I was getting string I'm getting in the string what what, what I was storing either credentials found or not found now what I'm storing is boolean result means same value same variable name is same but value is true or false now in the javascript i need to check here instead of this is the val these are response that i am getting from the javascript result is it true 
If it is a true, show success, else false. Okay, so are you all understanding? So nobody is answering at least one question. Okay, so now, now let us try again. The same result will come now again, now also. For example, I'm entering a wrong username and then wrong password. I have not registered yet. Sign in. Um, one sec. Refresh. So I'm registering, I'm, I'm entering wrong username and wrong password. So one second and um, let me check. True or false. So what I can do now, I'll check the result. What result is coming here? I'll put an alert first of all and check what result is coming. Is it a true false values? T R U E true. True false values coming or not? Let me check first of all. It's false coming. Yeah. It's false coming. If it is false, it should give me alert failed. So once again, we change the data type to Boolean. That's why it is not giving me a, a you know result. Let me check it once again. False, fail. Yeah, now it is coming proper. It should be uh, not caps. It should be small. Now you see uh, this result is true. Then it will show success. Otherwise false, failed. Okay. Now we are getting that information here. So my credentials. I'll first enter some like this, which is not available. So it is failed. I'll provide my username password. Um, let me go to credentials object earlier, whatever I have registered. Uh, otherwise I can register right now. Let me register as you know, um, let's say Shiva. Shiva at the rate of one to three something okay like this now this is my username this is my password register so it is registered we are not showing any alert messages and all but you go to sign in so you see I'll enter this again click on sign in me see a success now same username password I just now registered that's why it will show me success message if I enter wrong username it is has failed the same message instead of alert instead of alert you can show as a toast message okay there is a toast message in the lightning component library go to lightning component library go to lightning component library So here you search for um, toast. So here toast, there is a code is available. We need to use that. So you see in the R components, just search lightning web component section is available. And then below lightning web uh, R components also available. Click on this show toast and you will get this uh, toast code this is actually code okay if you use this code what will happen instead of alert i'm going to use this from here to here this is a code 
so this is a toast message code what it will give you is uh, instead of alert it will go show you in a green color red color you can change it okay so this is a syntax you don't need to change anything that the change you can do is this one title success is that's fine message uh, you know login success like this you can show and then there is a if you go to specifications there is a type is also available what it will do if you wanted to show in the green color you can mention the type as like this success type okay and then uh, and save it so this is uh, enough right now so this is a toast toast show toast code what it will do it will gives you a message in the green color red color like that it just uh, just refresh this and try so here I am going to so enter my username password clicking on sign in you see here success login success okay so if you enter wrong you wanted to show a message in a red color instead of this one then you can utilize the same piece of code again in a else else condition here it is failed message coming right instead of this alert use here type is error and then failed and then message check your username or password and then this is error 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 yeah error is fine and then mode also you can you know by uh, by default it will for five seconds it will be their message and it will disappear you wanted to show the mode there is a mode called sticky mode if you say for this mode if you say sticky so what will happen the mode if you specify as a sticky it will be there the message it won't close until unless you close yourself so for example you try now I'm giving my username wrong and my password is also wrong sign in failed check your username and password so the message uh, message is mode is sticky mode is sticky mode should be mode M should be small if mode is sticky what will happen the message is going to be there until unless you close so now now you see message is disappeared right that is something called dismissible by default if you don't mention also it is dismissible if you mention now mode as sticky then the message is going to be there I'm entering my wrong name username and password so this message now generally will not close automatically it will be there it's not dismissible it is sticky now the mode is mentioned as sticky so it will be there as it is if you close then it will be closed otherwise the message is will be there like this now you see <coughs> we are writing front end sending this information to apex this will go to the object and fetch the details if the details found then it will gives me true if details not found it gives me false in the javascript what i'm doing if the message <coughs> the result is true then i'm showing a toast message as success type is success if it is else in a false then i'm showing a error <coughs> right so this is all about today so code has increased but it's very easy this code we did not write you search in the um, you know the uh, um, lightning component library for the toast then you will get the code 
or you can may write it down in somewhere just for your practice okay so this will show the this toast message like this so you need to improve the you know uh, analytical skills or the programmatic mind okay if this piece of code we are writing why should I write can I delete this yes you, you delete and try okay if you delete this what will happen like you know this is if and else conditions you need to think little bit logically then it is very easy then you need to understand uh, by practicing what is this if condition why are we writing this dot size can I write only size so you will get an answer okay or at least you will get a question then you can ask me so of course once you first time you are seeing this code you will feel little bit difficult now I see I explained twice I explained twice you are little bit understanding right so like this uh, you need to practice and next tomorrow what we can do now we are signing up we are doing a sign in and then sign up right both functionalities working now what you need to do you need to redirect to another component tomorrow if it is login success let's go to another page another component and then open list of cars okay list of cars open the list of cars okay and one customer can choose the car and then purchase it okay we will do that tomorrow so to, for today you have to practice a lot okay what is this data type boolean data why don't we write a string why don't we write a number number also you can write no worries okay yeah that's all for today let us see tomorrow any questions